people and we're going to talk about the Barristow's method problem. I ha so we have the given sol solution in to which I have got the answer from. Now we have a polynomial over here actually which has the highest power with 4. Okay, and P0 and Q0 are basically two initial points which are just given. Right. Now we should just solve it for two iterations. And basically what we should do is we should just remember that the formula is PK plus 1 equals to is what I have given and the same goes for Q K plus 1. Now basically we do that and after that but we need to know the del PK value and del QK value. So the del PK and the del QK values are given in what I have written in equation 1 and 2. Right. Now we are doing the first iteration. It is, we are actually, actually we are given two initial points. Those initial points while we are doing it, we put it in the opposite sign of what it was given. For instance, we were given initial points as positive 2. So we will be putting them as negative 2, negative 2 in order to solve the synthetic division. So at first you just put P0, the initial point, you borrow 1 and then you multiply 1. When you multiply 1 with minus 2, you get minus 2 where I have mentioned it under minus 3. You add those both and then you get minus 5. And then in the similar manner, minus 5 gets multiplied with minus 2 to give 10 and you will be getting the value of 10 over there. That's how we have obtained the value 10 as such. Now we need to get the, the value of the next term also see usually in the third term it consists of three uh, some of three terms because that's how it is it's it actually starts from the third term so one into minus two then gives minus two which is then written down there now when you add 20 10 and minus two you get the answer is minus 28 same thing happens for minus 56 and 10 and the same thing happens for 4 and minus 56 so we got the first values over there. Next, you insert the initial value Q0 and the procedure is the same for what happens over there. So 1 into minus 2 gives minus 2 which is placed under minus 5 and we need and then you get the value minus 7. Minus 7 into minus 2 gives you positive value 14. And then 1 into minus 2 will give you minus 2. See, actually there is no number before minus 1. Both in the first case of P0 and Q0. That's why we haven't put anything under minus 2. Which is under minus 3 and minus 5 respectively. So 1 into minus 2 gives minus 2. Which then added together gives 40. In the same way, 14 to minus 2 gives minus 80. And uh, minus into minus gives plus. Right, so 7 to the 14, thus we get these three values 7, sorry, 1 minus 7, 40, and minus 68. Now put the cn minus 1, cn minus 2, cn minus 3, bn, bn minus 1 values in del pk and del qk. In the first case, you have to put k equals to 0 for first approximation. By doing that, you get this value which I have written here, you just solve it. Then you get it in an approximate root which is 0 0.58. The same method carries on for del Q0 which is also becomes an approximate root of minus 0 0.057. Now, we, what we can say is that P 0 plus 1 which equals to P0 plus del P0 will be equal to this value. See basically it is 0 plus 1 because k has been taken as 0. So that's why when it's 0 plus 1 on the outside, on the inner part we get 0 and 0. Same thing happens for q0 and we get the values of p1 and q1. 
the second iteration is of the same procedure as the first I've written it here so by observing it you'll be able to solve the following problem now at the second iteration you need to put k equals to 1 by doing that you get del p1 obviously you get del p1 value to be equal to minus 0 0.00643 the same thing happens for del q1 so del q1 becomes the value of what I have shown here 0.0415 so we've obtained del p1 and del q1 this actually is the best dose method hence the solution this actually is what we needed to find out and basically we have solved the Bastos method by finding out the solutions del p1 and del q1